Wow. Well, after that hole from Chauflay, the race is certainly on for the gold medal. That bogey took him to 17 under, joint with Rory Sabatini. Of course, he is safe in the clubhouse as he scored the lowest ever round in Olympic history in golf. He finished with a 61 on the day, which took his total to minus 17. And also, if anybody's wondering why he is representing Slovakia, it's because he has a Slovakian wife. And obviously, normally he would compete for South Africa. So as my husband says, happy wife, happy life. Uh, we'll go back to the golf live after the headlines. Great Britain's Charlotte Worthington recovered from a fall on her first run to win a thrilling gold in the women's BMX Park freestyle. She wowed the judges as she became the first woman to land a 360 degree backflip in competition. And later, there was more success in the men's event as Declan Brooks claimed bronze. That meant Team GB won medals in all four BMX disciplines in Tokyo. A silver in the men's 4x100 medley final takes Great Britain's tally in the pool to eight, making it their best ever Olympic performance. Duncan Scott becomes the first Brit in any sport to win four medals at a single Games. Great Britain's bid for a first eventing gold medal for 49 years remains on course. They are in a gold medal position going into tomorrow's final show, jumping a stage. Oliver Townend also leads in the individual standing. Ben Whitaker is into the gold medal bout of the lightweight, light heavyweight division after he beat Iman Katev of the Russian Olympic Committee. And his teammate Pat McCormack will also fight for gold. He was given a walkover into the welterweight final after his Irish opponent Aidan Walsh had to pull out, unfortunately, due to an ankle injury. More boxing and what a game it has been for the boxers. They took their tally to at least five medals after Fraser Clark reached the super heavyweight semi-final. His opponent was disqualified for multiple head clashes. But now it's time for the latest news with Nina Warhurst. Thank you, Sam. Good morning. Here are your top stories this Sunday. Cut price takeaways and taxi rides will be used to encourage young people in England to get vaccinated against COVID. Deliveroo and Uber are among the firms. Around 4,000 children and teenagers in Scotland will be offered the Pfizer vaccine before the start of the new term in just over two weeks. It'll be on offer to those... We'll give them that protection up until they've had their second doses, which will need to be eight weeks after that. New Zealand has formally apologised for singling out Pacific Islanders who had outstayed their visas during the mid-1970s. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern... Brown were wrong. And that the treatment of... The Prime Minister's wife, Carrie Johnson, says she feels blessed and incredibly grateful to be pregnant again after having a miscarriage at the start of the year. The couple who also have... Miscarriage to understand, actually to know some of the facts. Let's have a look at what the weather's got in store. Good morning, Stav. Good morning to you, Nina. Nina. At least there's something for everyone. Thank you, Stav. Um, I will be okay. back with an update in about an hour. Now back to Sam with more Olympic action. Good morning, you're watching Olympic Breakfast and we've got the golf here on BBC One for you. It's coming to a very exciting climax, I must say. Um, but we're also going to spoil you because we're going to give you the choice of watching that or the women's three metre springboard final over on the red button or iPlayer. But as I said, we're going to stick with the golf here on BBC One. We've got your uh, commentary team of Dwayne DeLocca, Alison Whitaker, and Tony Johnson. <laughs> Good morning, you're watching Olympic Breakfast and we've got the golf here on BBC One for you. It's coming to a very, certainly on for the gold medal. That bogey took him to 17 under, joint with Rory Sabatini. Of course, he is safe in the clubhouse as he scored the lowest ever round in Olympic history in golf. He finished with a 61 on the day, which took his total to minus 17. And also, if anybody's wondering why he is representing Slovakia, it's because he has a Slovakian wife and obviously normally he would compete for South Africa. So as my husband says, Happy wife, happy life. Great Britain's Charlotte Worthington recovered from a fall on her first run to win a thrilling gold in the women's BMX Park. Free latest news with Nina Warhurst. 
Thank you, Sam. Good morning. Here are your top stories this Sunday. Well, let's have a look at what the weather's got in store. Good morning, Stav. Good morning to you, Neil. We'll be back with an update in about an hour. Now back to Sam with more Olympic action.